Use a nursing reference guide to make sure you know what size needle and syringe you need. In this video, we're gonna show you how to give sub-Q injections. Insulin syringes are in orange top syringes. You have to read the packaging. This is a half a milliliter, 31 gauge, very small needle. And if you need more than 50 units of insulin, because this only comes in 50 units, which is a 0.5 milliliters, you're gonna need a bigger syringe. And they do come in one milliliter. Then this is the gray top. This one is used for heparin and other subcutaneous injections. This one's a one milliliter and the needle is larger. It is a 27 gauge. So the lower the number you go with the gauges, the larger the needle. You can see the difference between the 31 gauge was the one on the left and the 27 gauge, which is the one on the right. Subcutaneous injection angles are 45 to 90 degrees. If you have a large enough needle, you can go at a 90 degree or a 45 degree based on your patient size. You pinch the skin. I'm going at a 45 degree angle with this subcutaneous injection because my needle is a little longer and then I engage the safety. Okay, with the insulin syringe, it's much smaller. So this 31 gauge, I'm gonna not go at a 45 degree angle, I'm gonna go at a 90 degree angle because I want all the medication to get into the subcutaneous tissue. Then I'm gonna engage the safety and that is how you give subcutaneous injections. I'm Professor Molly, follow me for more nursing tips.